Hey everyone, Metaverse Philosopher here again. Today we're going to be doing an Apple Vision Pro app review for Simply Piano. All right, so I used to play piano as a kid. I uh, haven't had a physical piano in my house for quite some time now, but I saw this app and it seemed pretty cool. You can play actually a virtual piano or project uh, basically a note guide on a physical piano. I'm going to try it out for the virtual and see how it goes. Look down at a flat surface in front of you. Place your hands flat on the glowing surface. Stay still for a couple of seconds until it gets set. Wow, cool. Nice. That was pretty cool VFX with the little sparkles that came up. All right, now let's try this out. Whoa. Hmm. Definitely some of the tracking isn't the best. Let's try with the AI, see if that works better. It looks like there's spatial and AI tracking options. Hmm, spatial is a bit better. All right, let's try this. Okay, it's not bad if you use your pointer finger. I think if you actually play like a real piano, it doesn't work as well. Let me try to play a kind of a simple song. Y'all know that song? Hot Cross Buns. <laughs> Let me try this one. Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. Now let me play this third one here. This one, y'all might not know. It's a very classic song in old folklore. Let me give it a shot. I used to play this a lot as a kid. Hmm, it's not registering. Oh, there we go. It's actually, okay, here we go. Huh, I didn't click there. Ah, so close. Hold on. Maybe here is better. Ten points if you can name that song. I'll do it one last time before we wrap this up. Nice, okay, so I like this app. I would say it does have a decent amount of promise. If there was good hand tracking to play a piano virtually like this, I think that'd be super rad, whether it's a piano or like a trombone, a trumpet, maybe a cello would be good. You need something big so that it can understand these nuanced uh, pointing differences when you're playing certain keys. I do like that there's, you know, looks like some lessons that you can do here. It's where notes All right, this is pretty cool. Played. When it's gray, listen. When it's colored, you play. All right, let's let's see this. Okay, <laughs> it's basic lessons, I guess. We'll start with these three notes. Nice. 
All right, some decent lessons here. Find the group of two black keys in the middle of your piano. Okay, yes. Place your right hand thumb on the white key to the left. This is middle C. It's a circle with a line crossing it. Whoa, that's cool. It's cool how they project it like that. Yeah, I, th I think I think this app has a lot of promise, y'all. White key to the right of middle C. Play the note D with your index finger. Wow. Here's a tip. Notice that middle C has a line crossing it while the note. All right, so I can kind of get the gist of it now. I think this app has a lot of promise. I do like the way it looks aesthetically. I like the way that the note guide is set up. The visual effects as you're actually playing the notes is a nice touch. I think that if the developers really focus on getting this hand tracking right, this could be an awesome app. I want to be able to play some of these complex songs with two hands that I used to play when I was a kid. I feel like I could still do it now and you know, I'm sure that the mode um, basically as a guided piano teacher is really good for people that have pianos, but I don't have one. So, you know, I need to use this virtual one. I'd be really curious to see some of their data, like what people are using the real piano guided mode versus who's using the virtual mode. But yeah, I think it's pretty promising. They did say that this virtual piano was experimental. So I'm excited to see uh, what the devs come up with next here in terms of updates. All right, thanks so much y'all and see you next time.